I gotta be honest, out of everything I thought we'd eventually revisit, stage hands here were pretty darn low on the list. And yet, here we sit with new and refined knowledge of both themselves and their end table counterparts, all the while having the unique opportunity to discuss freshly introduced stage hands to boot. So grab your hammers and torches, folks, as it's time to say hello to Charlie once again. After we follow the not so yellow brick road, that is, stage hands are a natural structure found in this game that tend to generate right off the beat path of our fancy roads here, somewhere out there in our worlds. However, I really wouldn't limit your search just to this. It is entirely possible to find stage hands off normal roads as well, and heck, I have even seen a world or two over the years without a stage hand in the first place, but nowadays I really wouldn't go worrying about such things. No, no, no. Worry more about how suspiciously lackluster stagehands will appear and be the moment you do actually stumble upon them instead. Surrounded by five roses guaranteed, the thing might seem to do nothing, but that will all change come the cover of darkness. As long as we are not too close to it, the stagehand will spring to life, revealing it to be a creepy nightmare arachnid of some sort. A shadow spider that just so happens to be attracted to light too, believe it or not. But not just any light, mind. It has to be light that emits from fire specifically. Stuff like campfires or torches will cause the music-making monstrosity to move about and potentially follow us, also possibly sending a good chill down our spines every now and then, just for good measure. But try to give it some light outside of these instances, however, and it will be more concerned about its preservation than anything else, which could be of note. In short, it likes fire until it doesn't. And before we go annoying the dang thing even more, Here's one last note. While stagehands themselves are still wholly indestructible, just like they were when we first talked about them, many of the other naturally spawning objects of this game are no longer as such. Say like the loot stash here, that used to be just the perfect P to a stagehand's carrots if you know what I mean. All I'm trying to say is, stagehands are gonna need a lot more help if you do want to go blocking with them. Which leads us to the discussion of a stagehand's true purpose in this game. End tables. If hammered 86 times, and no, I am not kidding, the thing will drop a blueprint for these very end tables that we ourselves will now be able to make at will for two marble, two boards, and two chunks of carpeted flooring as seen here. Be mindful though, if you actually stop hammering a stagehand for roughly 15 seconds, you will actually have to repeat the very same 86 hammerings once again. But yes, this does actually mean that the entire process here is repeatable for any additional blueprints if you do so choose to spend your time in such a way. But why would you do such a thing, you ask? Well, many reasons, actually. For one thing, these end tables allow for us to decorate them with flower petals for eight varieties and five sanity per petal, for get me lots for two different looks that also give five sanity per plants, loom blossoms for the sanity alone, and finally, light bulbs and glow berries of both sorts mind for potential light in base where you please. Plus, as a bonus from a somewhat recent update actually, everything planted in end tables will now last for 10 full days, which is actually kind of huge, so take advantage. But that's not all still, for you see, end tables themselves are also impassable if used correctly. They can be placed really close to one another, and as long as it's not bear jar claws and a select few others, you can even block bosses with the suckers. And if you can block big bads, then the little guys literally be nothing to these things, so enjoy using end tables in mob farms and beyond for any of your needs. Yes, they really are as good as they sound, folks, so find your stagehand today. But now I get to say that we should find our stagehands instead, as yes indeed, folks, we now have more than just one sneaky table to find out there in our worlds. Charlie's stagehands were introduced mere weeks ago in the A Little Drama update and have even undergone a couple updates of their very own too. But finding them hasn't changed, however, as they're still a part of Charlie's stage itself, and Charlie's stage is a set piece with some known spawning habits following the updates. The thing loves generating in the triple Mac branch of our worlds, while simultaneously guaranteeing the branch's formation itself, essentially. All that said, though, world generations are always bloody different, and if the thing isn't there, chances are it will be in a nearby grasslands branch that's close to the portal. That's my understanding of this fairly new structure, at least, and as always, never
never bloody discount the game going way out of its way to do none of that anyways. But whatever the case may be, the stage will spawn with two of these unique stage hands now, and for all intents and purposes, they will appear and pretty much do all the same other things that the OG ones do, as seen here. But begin to interact with them further, and suddenly things will get very different. Dangerous even. If hammered even once, these stage hands will reach out to deal multiple hits of damage at 60 damage a pop to all survivors for a short but not insignificant amount of time. Attempt to fight back, and it will do the same thing over and over and over again. And even if you do quote unquote kill it, it will turn around and instantly regenerate all of its health anyways. So you know, don't attempt to kill it. No, no, no. These structures are only meant to protect us from dangers when we are performing near them. And they'll do a heck of a job of it too. And if you get hit twice while having tried to perform twice while in trouble, you might get Get both stagehands dealing 80 damage a hit to anything that's nearby, even bosses. Do be mindful though. While that sounds awesome, these stagehands are no longer that good at their job and lose aggro pretty quickly, and the only way to continuously get them to be truly helpful is to continuously get hit while performing over and over and over again, which just isn't viable or recommended at all but do make your notes. And there you have it everyone, a surprising revisit to stagehands filled with all sorts of surprisingly fresh ideas, uses, and more. Plus, we even got to add entirely new stagehands to the discussion to boot, making this one heck of an updated guide on these things. But thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, I watch your back, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.